The Department of the Air Force recently announced the contract award for the Engineering and Manufacturing Development, or EMD, of the Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD, platform, marking a major milestone in advancing air superiority. The contract, awarded to Boeing, will lead to the development of the F-47, the world's first sixth-generation fighter aircraft. I'm thrilled to announce that, at my direction, the United States Air Force is moving forward with the world's first sixth-generation fighter jet, said President Donald J. Trump during a press briefing at the White House. Nothing in the world comes even close to it, and it'll be known as the F-47. This decision follows a fair and thorough source selection process conducted by the Air Force. It reaffirms the NGAD platform as the most capable and cost-effective solution to maintaining air superiority in an increasingly complex and contested global threat environment. The decision reflects the Air Force's commitment to delivering cutting-edge technology to the warfighter while optimizing taxpayer investment. In terms of all the attributes of a fighter jet, there's never been anything even close to it, from speed to maneuverability to what it can have to payload. And this has been in the works for a long period of time, Trump added. America's enemies will never see it coming. The NGAD, the sixth generation air superiority aircraft of the US Air Force, which is set to replace the F-22 Raptor, has been in the works for over a decade. By 2023, three major aerospace manufacturers, Boeing, Lockheed Martin, and Northrop Grumman, had all developed NGAD demonstrators. The USAF released its Classified Request for Proposals, or RFP, for the Next Generation Air Dominance Platform in 2023. After Northrop Grumman withdrew from the contest, only two contenders remained, Boeing and Lockheed Martin. The contest has been keenly watched. Recently, Lockheed Martin, which has also developed the F-35 and F-22 stealth fighters, withdrew from the U.S. Navy's next-generation FAXX fighter jet program. While the two American aerospace giants are competitors in general, having participated in neck-to-neck -neck contests over the years, the NGAD contest was their second biggest face-off against one another in recent times. Boeing had to concede to Lockheed Martin in the Joint Strike Fighter contest, which led to the development of the F-35 Lightning II. If confirmed by the Pentagon, this could be an incredible win for Boeing, whose fortunes have declined in the past years owing to financial difficulties, technical issues, and cost overruns on fixed-price contracts. Nonetheless, the losing company, probably Lockheed in this case, could find opportunities within the broader NGAD program, with their technology potentially finding applications in other subsystems of the sixth-generation aircraft. However, with FAXX and NGAD both lost, its future remains uncertain for now. In May 2024, the Air Force conducted a strategic pause in the program to ensure it was making the right decision for its warfighters and the nation's security. During this time, the Air Force continued collaborating with industry to mature critical technologies and accelerate innovation aggressively. Now we have the F-47, which sends a very direct, clear message to our allies that we're not going anywhere, and to our enemies that we can and we will be able to project power around the globe unimpeded for generations to come," said Secretary of Defense Pete Hegseth. Hegseth stated the F-47 represents a significant advancement over the F-22, which is currently the U.S. Air Force's primary air superiority fighter. This is a historic investment in the American military in the American industrial base that will help revive the warrior ethos inside our military, which we're doing, rebuilding our military," Hegseth added. We know this is cheaper, longer range, and more stealthy. 
As the cornerstone of the NGAD family of systems, the F-47 is designed to integrate next-generation stealth, sensor fusion, and long-range strike capabilities to counter the most sophisticated adversaries in contested environments. Its adaptability and modular design ensure seamless integration with emerging technologies, positioning it as a dominant platform for decades to come. With this F-47 as the crown jewel in the next-generation air dominance family of systems, we believe that this provides more lethality," said Air Force Chief of Staff General David Alvin. It provides more capability, more modernized capability, in a way that's built to adapt along with our collaborative combat aircraft. The service has initially planned to award the NGAD contract before the end of 2024. However, in December 2024, the Pentagon stated that the Trump administration would decide the program's fate. The USAF allocated $19.6 billion for NGAD investment over the next five years in its 2025 budget request, making it the most costly program in the service's R&D budget. Though the aircraft was postponed, it was never dead. Speaking at the McAleese Annual Defense Program Conference on March 18, 2025, Lieutenant General Dale R. White, the Air Force's senior uniformed acquisition official, said, While the NGAD decision was put on hold, we did not pause the approach and strategy and the things we're doing to make sure we have the technology. Over the past five years, in a strong partnership between the Air Force and the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, X-planes have been laying the foundation for the F-47. These experimental aircraft have flown hundreds of hours, advancing stealth, range, and autonomous systems while refining operational concepts. Hopefully, these magnificent planes will be built and in the air during my administration. It's ready to go. They've already built much of what has to be built in terms of production, including the sheds," Trump added. We will ensure that the USA continues to dominate the skies. The contract award funds the engineering and manufacturing development phase, which includes maturing, integrating, and testing all aspects of the F-47. This phase will produce a small number of test aircraft for evaluation. The contract also includes competitively priced options for low-rate initial production. Future basing decisions and additional program elements will be determined in the coming years as the Air Force advances the F-47 toward operational deployment. That was the end of the video. If you're interested in it, please make sure to give us a like. Thank you for watching.